Ever since there's been two of anything, animal or vehicle that could be raced, a certain kind of man has always wanted to put them side by side to see who could make the fastest time between two fixed points. No matter what it was, in a straight line, round and round in a circle, or even cross country, there's always one that wants to get to the finish line first. and you're driving around these streets like a maniac. I'm a little late getting out here to the races. A little late getting down to the races. Let me have your license and registration, please. Where'd you come from, man? Where'd I come from? Chasing you. Richard Thar. Richard Thar, the race driver. Richard Tharp has come a long way from the streets of Las Cruces, New Mexico, through midgets, through funny cars, to the World Championship in Top Fuel Eliminator. When he was four or five, maybe six years old, you knew he was going to race something, you know. Or I knew I was going to race something. Uh, we raced uh, little bitty cars, then we raced tricycles, bicycles, motorcycles, and then uh, we went into the cars. What do you want to do? Uh, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> well, you're just... as close to it as anybody's been. Yeah, well, you know, I um, I just like taking it easy and having a good time and playing. And that's it. What do you do for fun? You name it, and I'll do it. I don't anything. I just like to have a good time. I mean, we have uh, we have a lot of things we do. You know. <laughs> There's been a story going around for years. One time you got in a contest, an eating contest with somebody, and you actually ate a live baby bird. Is that right? No, no. Now, the guy that won the contest ate the live baby bird. I stopped on the goldfish. <laughs> the thing I like the most probably is between the money and the speed. Probably the speed, because uh, there's nothing like running 250 miles an hour. You know. Racing used to be my whole life. I mean, you know, I used to eat it and sleep it, and, and I still do in a way. But, you know, it's getting harder to get up for the race every time. I mean, you know, like I'm 35 years old, and. And I'm going to tell you, it's not like it was when he was 25 or 26 years old. You know, I, I, I like to win. I try to win. And I think you can ask anybody at the races. You know, I mean, I don't like to screw anybody around, and, uh, but I like to win. If I get where I don't win, I'm really hell. I can't get along with anybody. I mean, I have to win if, you know. Winning isn't everything, but, you know, losing's nothing.
Oh, he's just, you know, he's as moody as the weather, you know. I, the only thing I know that changes as much as Thorpe is South Louisiana weather. grubby dude. I don't know how we put up with him. I can't stand him around the car anymore. He stinks so bad and needs a shave. You know, he, I don't know when's yeah. the last time he had a bath. You know? And his attitude is getting bad. He won't listen to you. He won't do what you tell him. And, and, and the more you lose, the worse it gets. Richard's like the sunshine. When he's up and he's winning, he's up. And when he's down, he is like the sun down. I'm telling you, rude Richard, I call him. Richard is obsessed with winning to the point where he's been sleeping in his car at the track and having all sorts of wild fantasies. Something has to happen right away. He's gotten impossible. trees and the telephone poles and all that stuff. But uh, sometimes, you know, I, I get thinking, well, you know, I've been here a long time and made a lot of passes. And, you know, pretty soon it's going to catch up with you. think about dying. It was my time to go, it's my time to go. Whether I'm in that race car or if I'm in this trailer sitting here and you know an airplane falls on it. That's just the way I look at it. I don't worry about it. You think most drivers feel that way? I think most of them feel that way. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Or they wouldn't be there, you know. I mean every time you got in that car you said, oh my God, am I gonna die? You know, what kind of deal is that? Who'd want to do that? You know, who'd want to who'd want to who'd want to think about that five times a week, you know? They don't know my 
life or death, they just get it right on down the line. After his long losing streak, Richard Tharp seems to have it together. He qualified at over 243 miles an hour in the Candies and Hughes car. If Richard wins this race and goes on and does well in Indianapolis, he still has a chance of winning the championship. Richard's really got his heart set on winning this race, and I hope he does, because if he does, we're going to go to Hawaii for a week. The rivalry between Richard Tharp and Don Garland has gone on all season long. Tharp's been running better than ever, but Big Daddy Don Garland, he's the one to watch. For over 20 years, this man has been driving a top fuel dragster. He has made more Starts the playboy.